you know, we're, we're actually pl feeling pretty good. We've been in Blaine for the whole week. Um, so we've been able to kind of, again, adjust more to the time zone uh, and, and just kind of train here in Blaine and get ready for uh, this upcoming weekend against Lone Star. You know, I actually, uh, the series right before Top Prospects, we were actually at the Windigo and we got swept. And I think that was kind of a turning point for our, our, our club. Um, I think, you know, the big thing I told the guys is if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. And at that time, uh, Windigo was, they were rolling uh, over everybody. And I, it's something about that weekend that I think just clicked for us. Um, that and we added some personnel there at roster freeze. And, um, but... Then we had a long home stretch, which I think that helped as well. But I think once we got swept, I think it was pretty eye-opening for the guys that we just had to dial in a little bit. And then um, we just kind of started chipping away game by game. And the points started adding up. The wins started adding up. And next thing you know, we put ourselves in a really good position uh, going into playoffs as the first seed. Well, one, you know, I think our, our, our depth, if you look at who's scoring our goals, uh, it's not just one line, it's not one guy. Uh, we've had scoring from all four lines, uh, and so that certainly helps when maybe someone's not going one night or you know, maybe the matchup's not in our favor and the other team's defending us really well. To have those guys on the third and fourth line to chip in on sc in scoring is uh, certainly beneficial for us. And then I gotta tip my hat to our goaltender. Um, I'll stand by it. You're, you're probably only as good as your goaltender, and he's been really good for us in the playoffs. Um, when, when we defend well, he's making the save, the key saves. When we're not defending well, he's just coming up big for us and stealing us games. And so we've won in different ways uh, this playoffs. And so those two things have really just, and then consistency through the the first few weeks of playoffs is is really what got us here. Yeah, I don't think we change anything. Um, I don't think there's any secret sauce or, uh, you know, magic pill that we're, we're going to take. We're not going to change things. Um, we, we're, we shoot the puck. We try to shoot the puck a lot. We get to the net. We, we screen. We create traffic. Um, you know, those are, those are just, you know, again, I don't think it's any secret, right? We see it at every level. Um, but those are, you know, I know they have two really good goaltenders there in Lone Star, and so we just got to make their job extremely hard. And how you do that is you just get in front of them. Uh, you get to the blue paint, and you, you cause a bunch of chaos. I mean, it'd be super special, um, not only because our, our, our fan base, our community, our ownership group, um, a lot of people are invested in this organization. Um, it'd be a little extra special for me. I am from Alaska, so I grew up in Eagle River, which is just outside of Anchorage. And uh, so it's home for me, right? So friends, family, uh, grew up playing hockey there, started coaching there. Um, and so to bring a, a championship back to Anchorage would be uh, really special uh, for myself and then just the whole org organization and uh, community. Uh, that's a great question. Um, one, I, our locker room is really tight-knit. Uh, those guys really love each other in there. And I think when those... When you got guys that love each other, it's a real special thing. Um, and they just battle for each other and they compete for each other. Um, it, and I, the thing that we've kind of been all about all season is, is we is greater than me, right? Doing things collectively um, as a team is going to not only gain you team success, but it will help you gain your individual success. It's no secret that we're a developmental league. We want to move guys on to college hockey and that we believe that if our team has success and we win hockey games and we get to big moments like this, uh, we're going to move guys on to the next level. And guys have really bought into that. And um, I think we're going to see the, the fruits of their labor here soon um, as we compete this weekend for a, a championship.